Keyword research is essentially an opportunity for you to identify the keyword phrases. So it could be two word, three words or sentence long queries that people will be typing into a search engine to get your products and services. There are a number of different tools that allow you to do that. But before you get to use those tools, it's always too good to be aware of that whenever you're deciding on your keywords, there are four aspects that you need to think about. First of all, is the relevance of that keyword to your buyer persona. The specificity, how many words does it comprise of? Popularity, how popular is this keyword in search? And how competitive, how many others are competing for that term? So in the ideal case, you'll find a keyword that is relevant to your buyer persona. It has two, three or four or more words in the term. It is very popular and it's also least competitive on the market. The main keyword terms for us that are, that are important for our business are sector specific and also location specific. So if you're looking for um, a job in digital marketing, digital marketing jobs, digital marketing recruitment uh, seem to be two very popular terms for us. In terms of the location and the geographical element of this, you know, digital marketing jobs Manchester, digital marketing recruitment Manchester, recruitment agencies marketing Manchester are all variations of terms that are very important for us. In terms of the keywords that are important for our online persona, uh, we look at the long tail keywords um, that would attract a wave of traffic in the longer term in terms of search engine optimization. So we have done research in the past on the skills shortage in the Northwest, knowing that this would be a hot topic um, you know, in, in, the, in the 18 months or so after we released that research, and it is now, and therefore the keyword terms that are being produced like digital skills shortage Manchester, you know, developing the Northwest of England in digital marketing. It all produces really strong traffic from, uh, for us from the research that we have made live that relates directly to the content on our website. For let's say one of our clients are offering um, gardening products, uh, everything about your uh, garden or for your, for your furniture uh, uh, in-house. Uh, so we think that people are looking for specific terms, but if you can go to the keyword tool and see the actual phrases, we can see that sometimes people are looking with uh, some misspells or syntax or uh, grammar. Uh, so we can see how is the actual term and use it not only in the advertising, but you can use it also in our content, not only in our website, but in our social media. So uh, Google is trying to find relevance uh, of keywords and of course quality of the landing page. And the landing page is your Facebook page or your website. Uh, sometimes we are asking for um, uh, colleagues, for friends or even clients to create a list of keywords, let's say 10 to 20, how they think that someone is looking for this product. Uh, and after that, we are taking these keywords and trying to connect them with the initial query. So we are using different ad groups, but uh, at, the, at the end, we are always selecting uh, keywords coming from the keyword tool and from uh, monthly search queries. We've faced many challenges in implementing our digital marketing strategy, from choosing the right picture for a post to building a whole strategy to which tool to use. For example, though it sounds simple, phrasing is crucial in the digital space and requires a lot of thought and knowledge of the psychology of our target audience. We always try to phrase the content so that it stimulates action, be it engagement or purchase. The title New Collection 2015 would not bring as many clicks in our pay-per-click campaign. Therefore, we included an action word in the slogan and drew upon some of the brand values like family, quality, Bulgarian producer to get the message that intrigues people to take an action.